Hey gamers, I'm K-Wing and I'm annoyed. Yesterday, Reggie fils Nintendo's president, said Nintendo TV would enhance the way we watch television forever. Well, I'm here to say it doesn't do that. Nintendo hyped us up for months that Wii U would combine all our favorite video feeds into one convenient place. Services like Amazon Video, Hulu Plus, Netflix, and even act as a TiVo unit too. By the way, Netflix and TiVo and other streaming services, yeah, they're not coming to early 2013 anyway. Alrighty, so the whole point of this app is while watching your favorite TV show or movie, you could interact with other people on Miiverse, Facebook, or Twitter. The only problem is, you can only do that for shows that are currently live. So when you first boot up TV, you'll notice a list of options. You can view favorites, see TVs, movies, sports, or search for stuff. But on the top left screen, you actually have your me right up here. If you open this up, a whole bunch of options become available. Here you can set up your cable provider, customize your favorite channels, and enable social interaction, blah blah blah. TVs and movies work the same, so I'm not really going to talk about both. Basically, it tells you, the viewer, what stuff is currently popular and will let you favor that item into your queue. Everything is really easy to navigate using the stylus too, which I was kind of surprised by. But just like many first world problems, there's nothing good on TV anyway, so let's look up a real show, shall we? Ah, oh, Chuck, you ended far too soon, my friend. Okay, so now that we have our good show selected, here are the options we have available. Here you can see we can select an episode, get info on the show, and find some stuff about the cast. I didn't know they did that. Now don't get me wrong, none of this makes the application bad. It's after selecting your episode. That's when it gets bad. Since most of your shows are coming from Hulu+, Plus, Amazon, and later Netflix, Nintendo TV doesn't really remember anything or the shows that you bought. So it will always charge you to play a movie or TV show each time you view it, if it has a Hulu or Amazon icon on it. At least that's what it appears as. Another beef I have with this app is it only shows info on the U-Pad. There's no option for streaming shows or movies, so you'll be taken to the streaming services that house said content. In all honesty, you're better off going to Amazon Wii U anyway, because you can watch your shows and movies without having to pay for them again. Plus, you can still use Miiverse, have access to the cast and show info, plus trivia! Who doesn't love trivia? Now, I could be wrong about all this, but me and TiVo's, we just don't get along. That and demand services. However, if you just look at this application as a simple-to-use TV guide and providing you info on your shows and movies, it's not too bad. Telling users when their favorite show is coming on is miles better than any cable or satellite provider because it actually works. No, seriously, Nintendo TV lays out the upcoming episodes and even highlights the time and day that new episode is coming on, even if it's weeks away. All that's missing is a weather channel and for the Wii U to notify you when a program is coming on. It would be really cool to have a reminder pop up when my favorite show is coming on or something, Nintendo, in the near future. Hey, don't judge me. I need to get my puns from all kinds of sources, okay? Haha! -ha! The pun has been doubled! Even though I don't use it, I suppose the sports channel thing is pretty cool. Now, I drop a lot of sports terms, but I don't know any. Still, you can get scores, highlights, stats, and follow your favorite teams, stuff like that. And you can find out when the next game is, even if it's like really far away. Still for a free service, it's okay. But as it stands right now, the streaming doesn't work like it was hyped up to do. And that's the problem I have with this. This is not a system seller for the Nintendo Wii U and should not be advertised as such, Nintendo. Sure, you can watch movie trailers and TV trailers and get info on movies and TV. But Nintendo TV does not connect seamlessly to your other streaming accounts. Yet. So fix this, Nintendo, because I can't find my K-dramas or animes, so you make me sad. Anyway, now I want to hear from all you folks. What do you think of Nintendo TV? Am I spot on with my criticism or off? Sound off in the comments section below. Now, in case I don't see any of you for a few days, because it's that time of year again, kiddos, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! May all your days be merry and bright. God bless and happy gaming, folks. I'll see you real soon.